Hey everyone, I just put up a shot on my tomato plant and I got a lot of support just in an hour so I thought maybe I make a full video on how I got this plant and uh, grew it. So uh, I got this um, plant when it was maybe this height, ye height and uh, from a nearby store and just within two months it has grown and uh, have a lot of flowers on it. Uh, I'll just show you the number of clusters that I have I think it is around 10 but yeah let's count this is the this is the first one that I got and it's uh, uh, having a tomato now and uh, we have another one which is here uh, yeah there's a tomato there and uh, we have other flowers here third uh, fourth fifth the bird behind that sixth and we have a cluster of bird here, seventh and eighth, ninth, and then a smaller one behind that. I don't know if it's visible, but yeah, tenth. So ten clusters of birds, uh, flowers right now. I hope they all. Uh, bloom and they give tomatoes i'll definitely post a, a follow video on uh, when all the tomatoes have ripened uh, i'll talk something about how i prune this tree when i got this plant as i mentioned it was just a small one of a height and uh, i saw some youtube videos on how to uh, grow your tomatoes um, so I, they mentioned that if there are any suckers uh, nearby the nodes here just like this and here and um, if there are no birds on those suckers then we should go ahead and prune them this is me uh, pruning the suckers which have grown a bit i don't uh, pluck the suckers immediately um, when they are young because i don't i do like to observe if there are any uh, no uh, birds growing on it and only if there are no birds on it and they have grown a bit more than the usual then i go ahead and prune them pruning helps in uh, flowing of nutrients to the nearby birds or flowers so that uh, you know if the circus are there they absorb a lot of nutrients uh, for their growth and the flowers on won't get the required nutrients so do prune your plant in order to have the plant uh, a better growth Tomato plant uh, definitely needs support uh, because as it grows it just leans towards one direction and that's why I gave a rod around it and have tied it with a cloth. Make sure you don't tie it very tightly. This is an indeterminate type of plant so it will grow much bushier. So you can put a triangular support around it to give it uh, support from all directions. Uh, I don't have it uh, with me currently but I'll definitely do it. I got a lot of love on my short video. I hope I get the same here. I'll just take a detour from a tomato plant and I wanted to show you my small uh, strawberry seedling I grew this from a seed um, and I actually I have two this is the first one and there is a tinier one than this this is the second one I will definitely post a video when they grow strawberries on it thank you everyone for watching my videos and supporting me please share and subscribe my channel